going on, y'all? Back here with a new damn video. Um, great win for the Eagles. Pretty good game. Uh, sorry about not coming here with a recap so early. Uh, some storage or some stupid shit was wrong. Messed up my phone, but uh, <clears throat> defense. Defense played a great game, in my opinion. They're the ones who won us this game. They kept us in this game, and they sat back and they said, you know. I mean, they got all these picks. They did everything the hell they could. Jordan Hicks, shout out to Jordan Hicks, man. He's a rookie. And when we got him, I was like, ah, I don't like that pick. You know, we just traded Shady for Kiko Alonso, who's a linebacker. We got D'Amico when we got Kendricks. I didn't like the pick when we got it. And then I went back and watched some tape on him. I really liked him. I'll tell you what, though, man. This kid is a monster. He's a beast. He's an animal. He attacks the football. He goes where the football is. And he plays with a lot of heart. And I like the kid a lot. Um, what do you have? What do you have? A, a tip interception, a forced fumble, a fumble recovery, and and he led the team in tackles. That was great. Um, offense. Offense was decent but didn't do what it could. You know what I mean? Uh, I see a lot of people saying bench Bradford, sit Bradford. Bradford didn't play good. I'll tell you that right now. But would I say bench him or sit him? I wouldn't say that. Really, I wouldn't. Uh if you want to be a, a good football team, successful football team, you can't just always, every time your quarterback has a bad game, sit him out, put him down. Because every time you do that, that just sets your team back more. you got to ride it out with the quarterback no matter what. Now, if we were getting blown out, yeah, you put Sanchez in. But you have to ride it out with a quarterback. You can't sit back and just keep benching them every time they play bad, kind of like what the 49ers did with Colin Kaepernick. I mean, he had a bad game today, but, hey, they rode it out with them. Um, I don't know. I mean, it was a really good win for us. Uh, I think this can be a cornerstone for us to uh, go forward and us to get some, some shit done. But, um, we're back in the win column. Like I said, Darren Sproles, he played his fucking heart out. That dude is amazing. Um, Bradford, he didn't look good, like I said, but I'm not calling for Mark Sanchez whatsoever. Um, I know what he, he is. I know what he's done. I've seen enough of him last year. Uh, you know, costing us games and doing all this and that. Yeah, uh, He can't throw the ball more than 30 yards. I know Sam hasn't done it either, but hey, you know what I mean. Um, but don't get me wrong. If Sanchez played, I think we would have blew him out even more because I think it would have hit the open receivers, even though he didn't do it last year. But still, that's what it is. Uh, really good game. Ryan Matthews, he played his ass out. Ryan Matthews, man. He showed that Murray is a really good running back. Our offensive line is bad, but you can still get it done if you play the position correctly. He had a great game. I think 100 and something yards, 104 yards, 106 yards. I don't know how many damn yards. He had an amazing game, though. Um, he came in. He balled out. Besides the two drops, you know, he had one drop that if he caught it, man, phew, it would have been a, it would have been a 60 yard touchdown. But then he went back and he caught another four touchdown, which was a great pass by Bradford right on right on the numbers, fade right into his goddamn hands. Uh, so that was a touchdown to him. Sproles had a great game besides that one big drop he had when Bradford threw a dime right on him while he was moving out. I think he was you know rolling out and he just dropped it right on him. He dropped and he dropped the pass. Um, still a problem though. We can't convert on third down. Every time it's third down, I'm holding my breath. We can't complete on third down. And that's probably the only issue. But overall, we won the game. I'm happy as hell. Eric Rowe, rookie, he showed up too with two swats and um, <clears throat> and a pick on uh, Devin Smith, who's a rookie too. I was going to say, you know what, don't even play Noah Carroll no more. Start Eric Rowe. But now I look at him more. He played up against a rookie in Devin Smith. Give the kid a little more time, and then he can be a starting corner for this team. But overall, good win. Great performance by the defense. Even did everything they could towards the end too by – Picking off Matt Ryan, I mean, not Matt Ryan, what the hell? Ryan Fitzpatrick, my bad. Picking off Ryan Fitzpatrick. <clears throat> and then, excuse me, our offense couldn't do nothing with it. And it was like, damn, we got to go right back on the field. And we were right back on the field. And defense got another pick from Walter Thurman. And we sealed up the game. It was a really good win. This could be something that we can build off. Sam Bradford didn't look really good, as I said, but he looked better than he did in the Dallas game. And we can just keep going forward with this, this, type, this type of progress. And maybe it could be a building block, like I said. 
Let's go, birds. Comment below on your thoughts. How do you feel? All this and that. Benching Bradford, I'm not with it. You know what I mean? I'm just not with that shit. You know what I mean? I, we Philly fans, we do it all the time. We did it with McNabb. We did it with Vic. We did it with Foles. When Foles was playing bad last year, put in Sanchez, put in Sanchez, put in Sanchez. We got Sanchez. Did we get what we wanted? Hell no. Do I want it now? No. Uh, I know what it takes. You know, you got to ride out with these quarterbacks and see what he does. Am I worried for him? Yes, I am. Um, I do not think he, he's bad quarterback at all. I think he has a uh, really good skill set, elite skill set, possibly. He's just playing scared, playing timid, and I, you know what I mean? Hesitating, but we'll see what happens. Let's go, Birds. Comment below on your thoughts. How do you feel about the game? Are you ready for this week against the Redskins? I sure the hell am, and I'll be here later this week with a preview. Let's go, Birds. We're back in this bitch.